talk about the, the cyclical nature of transition. Uh, I will speak on this really quickly. I look at the transition as a upward spiral or as an upward cycle. And so what a lot of people, the way a lot of people think about the diet is, is in a linear fashion. So it's like, okay, we start here, we're meat eaters and we drink, uh, drink pus and stuff. And then we go and go over here and now we're mucus or maybe I should do an inclined plane. So we start here and we're eating pus and mucus. And then we, and then at, at a certain point we're going to be fruitarian or we're going to be all totally mucusless or whatever and so it's it's like this and that's how they imagine the transition it's just this progression that starts here and ends here it's a very linear perception in my opinion that's problematic what is more real is there's ups and downs the key is to have the ups and downs continue to always move forward so that you can never go down as far as where you came from so you might start here and say okay I'm going up this is good and it's like oh man I'm going through an elimination ah, I don't feel good and then you come back down a little bit but you don't go as far back down you, you start going up again oh, I'm feeling good yeah now it's oh, I'm feeling bad again okay I'm eating some nasty stuff. Okay, now I'm back. Mucusless, transitioning, feeling good. Oh man, big elimination. Ah, okay. And then back up again. And it's and it's this type of like a spiral. Just on up. And the key is that every time you come back down when you have a low period, you never go way back down. You never go back to the beginning. You always are going up. But there's cycles. And cycles are, are natural in nature, if you, <laughs> if you haven't noticed, if it's, whether it's the uh, uh, cyclical nature of, uh, of seasons or depending on what part of the, the world you are, if it's the, the world revolving around the sun and we don't know what the sun's revolving around, but uh, earth rotating. So there's this, this cyclical kind of phenomenon is something that to me at least makes sense as, as a natural progression so when applying that concept to the mucus's diet it just makes sense and what some raw foodists I've seen do is they'll start here and then you know yesterday they were eating steaks and uh, cheeseburgers and then the next day they're like yeah I'm eating them to fruit woo I'm raw eating nuts and seeds and fruit and then all of a sudden at a they might even do this for five or ten years and then all of a sudden it's like boom they hit they hit hard they go all the way down not only all the way down but they get they end up worse than where they started you know back into some paleolithic whatever that people fall off and jump into some, that other thing and so i'm saying for me what's rational is a slow constant consistent permanent transition I can never go back to where I started from I would have to transition back because I would probably physiologically uh, if I started eating the way I used to eat I would kill myself my body is not permitted to go back to where it started from I would have to transition right back into mucus in the way that I transitioned out and it wouldn't be pretty so I'm not going back <laughs> <laughs> like that so but anyway that is uh, a little bit on the cyclical nature of transition which is something I've actually wanted to explain for a while so I went ahead and took a moment and did so there so.